JJ, the CPA is here. People, when your house is on fire, are you just going to sit around wondering what hose to use? No! Go put the fire out. Go get your P, 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 and your E, I, D, L. Now! JJ, the CPA here. Hope you're doing well. Hey, so don't be dumb. You're not. You know what you are? As a survivor. What I love is that you landed on this video. It's going to tie into three other things. But what I want to walk through with you is an easy way to look at what's going to happen in the next four weeks and predict your cash flow easily. So I'm going to walk you through this worksheet and I'm going to do it quick and then I'll come back through these examples. But you can find the worksheet at jjthecpahelp.com. It's a community service website I put together. You don't tell me who you are. You don't enter in an email address. Go to the survival page for that worksheet. And then also this ties into two other videos where I walk through things that lead up to this video. One is California closes again and the other is save your biz. So a link to all these three things is in the body of this. What do you want to do? Well, when I walk through in the other videos, what you want to look at is in the next two weeks, what's come and due. And then the two weeks after that, what else is come and due. And then during that period, what's coming in. And I'll tell you this, if you really want to break it down, you can just say, here's what I got to pay in two weeks in total. Here's what I'm bringing in. In the next two weeks in total, where am I at? And then you would say, well, the two weeks after that, what's going out the door? And the two weeks after that, what's coming in the door? And when I say in the door, what you can count on. Boom, you've already done it. You can go through and now walk this through the three categories that I'm having people uh, break out. So I'm doing this with my own clients. Uh, so we're gonna have money in, payroll costs, overhead and rent, and then your other bills to then come to a calculation uh, there at the end. So what I want you to keep in mind here is that this is rough numbers. You don't need to have to necessarily be exact. You can just look at your bank statement, go by memory, because right now you can do this in the next 15 minutes and you need to make sure you're just looking at it in round figures at least. Don't get caught up in, is it $48? or 51 because with your house on fire, that is irrelevant. We're trying to now look big picture. So when you're looking at this, okay, so we're looking at the next two weeks and then the two weeks after that, which puts us where you're gonna be four weeks from now. So money coming in, in this example, there's 10,000 that in this example would be known that is going to come in as in revenue. When we're talking about the payroll costs, it would be the employer taxes in addition to what's being paid to the employees, any health insurance or any benefits that you would be tacking on to full payroll costs. Then you have rent and overhead. So that would obviously be your rent, utilities, any kind of maintenance costs, telephone. You're trying to get in round figures. What are these two major categories? And then just everything else, loan payments, dues, any of those other things that you have to pay, what's coming up in the next two weeks. You should know, just even if you look on your desk, uh, you should know by just looking at last month's check register, last month's bank statement. If you don't know t in total what your payroll cost is, well, look at your bank statement. It should be pretty clear how much money left your bank account related to payroll. When you notice here, you're not breaking anything out. It's just total costs. So when you come up with these three categories, here's why. So in this example, 10,000 is coming in. We've got 3,000 in payroll costs. There's 1,500 in rent and overhead and then 500 in other bills. So what we know is that two weeks from now, there's gonna be roughly a 5,000 surplus. Now, when we look at the two weeks after that, it's like, well, I don't know for sure, but I think I can count on 3,000 coming in the two weeks after this upcoming two weeks. Well. If you have the same payroll in that period, $3,000, how would you have rent again? Well, you might be owing back rent. 
Do you have to have rent that's getting ready to be paid again? And then what are your other bills? So you can see in that two week period, okay, you're at a negative. You're at a negative $2,000. But what you can see overall is that you'll have a 3,000 surplus. But why do you need to know that? Because you want your business to survive more than four weeks. What you wanna do is figure out, okay, if I've got 3,000 left, well, what's gonna happen after four weeks? And then would I wanna do something different here with payroll or rent or other bills to increase my chances of having more money available after the four weeks? So I've got another example for you and I'll walk you through then what some of the decisions would be. So again, you can find this worksheet at uh, jjthecpahelp.com on the survival page. But here in this example, okay, you've got somebody and they bring in 15,000 in the next two weeks, okay? 8,000 in payroll costs, we got 3,000 in rent and overhead and 2,000 in other bills. So in the next two weeks, uh, looking at about a 2,000 surplus. Again, just round figures. But this might be a business that is closed or closing and they know that what they had billed and what they had done, uh, that's how they're getting the 15,000 that's coming in, but they're projecting there wouldn't be any money coming in after the next two weeks. Well, if things stay the same, it'd be 8,000 in payroll. Uh, let's just say with rent and overhead, well, they paid that in the next two weeks, it's not gonna be due again. Uh, and then let's just say there's other bills of 4,000, which might be mortgage payments or, 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 or business loan payments. So they're gonna know that after the two weeks following these immediate two weeks, they're gonna be 12,000 in the hole for those two weeks. And then combined here, they would know that in four weeks, they're gonna have a position of a negative $10,000. Now. When you're breaking out these expenses, here's why you would wanna do that. These are the exact same numbers that I just put up. These are exact same numbers, but on this one, now you would know four weeks in advance that you might be 10,000 in the hole in four weeks. So this would allow you to make better decisions right now on how you should spend your $15,000 in this example on payroll, rent and overhead, and the other bills, right? So is it that you need to reduce your payroll costs now? Do you need to plan on that you just simply can't cover payroll costs after the next two weeks? Uh, should you pay rent now? Should you pay half? These other bills might be sifting through those to make a better determination if you're actually gonna pay those bills in the next two weeks or you're gonna have to sit and wait until you have more funds. Mostly what you would know in this example is that in two weeks, in essence, with only 2,000 left, there's really not enough to cover any bills the next two weeks. And in four weeks, you're 10,000. But see, this is where you don't have to get concerned and stressed about this, even though it's concerning and stressing, because at least now you know this, and now what can you do? You can make different decisions. You don't have to just now lay down on the train tracks and get run over. What you're gonna know is, okay, well, if I'm 10,000 in the hole in four weeks, then here's the things I can't pay right now. Now, you could argue with yourself, well, but I have to pay this and I have to pay this. Well, the numbers right here are telling you you won't have the money to pay all those things. So you wanna start making decisions right now. So on that survival page, I have another worksheet that walks through in a little bit more detail in breaking out these expenses. But this is the simplest thing that you can do for yourself right now by breaking into categories. And I'll tell you this, even if you don't know it in exact, so let me just throw this out in closing. Do you have 100,000 a month in payroll? You're like, well, no. Well, see, you know your numbers because you know you don't have 100,000 in payroll. Okay, do you have zero payroll? Well, no, I have some payroll, okay? You know your numbers, okay? Well, is your rent, is it 8,000? Oh, no, 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 I know it's not 8,000. Well, see, you know your numbers. So even if you're sketching this out just best you know, okay, you're gonna come up with some result. And then when you come up with the result, it's going to help you make better decisions right now. And that's why 
Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb, Wood. Not looking at this, not breaking things into categories, not making decisions now. So check out those other two videos where I walk you through how to look also at your bank statement, how to break out these expenses, and go to this worksheet. Do this exercise now. Do it as quickly as you can in the sense of just come up with the number. Are you going to be in the hole or not? Be My biggest uh uh, request of you is just, are you in the hole or not in four weeks? If you're in the hole, you need to make different decisions. So you are a survivor. Now, let me just tell you this real quick. Uh, for those that have additional questions or would like some additional one-on-one, -on -one, uh, I've given you all the information. I've given you the worksheet, but if you need something individualized, go to jjthecpa.com. And yes, that is a different website, jjthecpa.com. And there you can schedule a phone call with me or a Zoom meeting. Uh, and then depending on when you're watching this, uh, through July 31st, I am taking applications for a 12-week program that I'm putting together uh, for you that is walking you through what I do for my clients over a 12-month period. So, hey, regardless if we get on a call or a Zoom or not, I want you to know I believe in you. You're going to get through this, especially if you made it to here. And if you did and you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to bring value in a complete way in these videos with the worksheets, regardless if we're able to visit one-on-one -on -one or in a group or not. All right. Hey, don't you ever forget, you've never met a CPA quite like me. All right, hey, have a great day and don't be dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JJ, the CPA is here. CPA quite like me. Nah. You never met a CPA quite like me. You never met a CPA no, quite met like CPA. me. Nah. You never met a CPA quite like CPA. me. Oh. JJ run the numbers like it's false. Hi, this is JJ the CPA. And the CPA is here, been doing this for years you never met a CPA quite like JJ All you gotta do is get at me if you wanna get paid A is for always, B is for B Now C is for closing, cause money never sleeps JJ, the CPA, has been serving thousands of businesses for the last 27 years he is also a national speaker teaching CPAs across the U.S. about the latest tax laws, as well as an author, and now what many call a YouTuber. Through this COVID era, JJ became a voice of calm during the pandemic, guiding countless businesses, self-employed individuals, and fellow tax pros through the PPP maze. Now, JJ is taking his know-how to help businesses that have asked for his help to rebound out of this mess that no one saw coming. He is doing this out of his own pocket, not for a fee, and to simply show the American business owner that they are not alone. JJ, America's CPA, is here to help save the entrepreneurial spirit, one business at a time. JJ, the CPA is here. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah. We hey, the CPA is here, been doing this for years. We bout to get your money right, you got nothing to fear. From the verbs to the ghetto, put the pedal to the metal. I got my mind. JJ, the CPA is here.